U wave on ECG occurs after the T wave and is usually seen in the mid precordial leads. In hypokalemia, T waves become flattened and U waves become prominent or apparently so because of near absence of T waves. Important conditions associated with U waves are systemic hypertension, aortic and mitral regurgitation and coronary artery disease. One theory about the genesis of U wave is that it is due to repolarization of the Purkinje fibers. Another possibility is that it is due to after potentials caused by mechanical forces in the ventricular wall. A third hypothesis suggests that it is due to prolonged repolarization of the mid-myocardial M cells. Yet another hypothesis is the delayed repolarization of papillary muscles. None of these theories have been widely accepted. An inverted U wave usually has the same significance as inverted T wave. A negative U wave is considered to be highly specific for heart disease and is associated with other abnormal findings on ECG in 90% of cases. Discordant U wave inversion with upright T is also thought to represent myocardial ischemia. An interesting case of U wave due to compression of right ventricle by a reconstructed stomach tube after surgery for esophageal cancer has been reported. Persistent giant U wave inversion was noted in a case after anoxic brain injury. It may be noted that giant T wave inversion can also be seen in brain disorders. Exercise induced U wave inversion in anterior leads has been associated with stenosis of proximal left anterior descending coronary artery in multiple case reports. U wave alternance along with pulses alternance has been described in left ventricular failure.